Hello, this is Joe McGee. Welcome to our podcast. Make sure that you subscribe and please share the podcast with your friends. That is the number one way you can help us reach people with God's love and healing. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy the podcast. Hey everybody, it's Joe McGee. Welcome to Wednesday's Words of Wisdom. We take a word out of the Bible. We try to find at least, you know, several scriptures to say what that word says, what God said about that word. Now, I've got a, a Vines dictionary of all the words in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. It's huge. It's thick, uh, but it's good. Every time God said something, he meant something by it. There are no accidental sayings. There are no accidental words. So what I'm doing is uh, when I taught high school kids for years, about 10 years ago, 40 years ago, I taught it for 10 years, I just pick a word out. And sometimes I go into class, well, here's the word for the day. And I'd read about five or six scriptures about that word. Every word in the Bible means something. And so you're going to give it some time. So the word we're going to take on today is the word steps, S-T-E-P-S, God orders steps, direct steps. So Psalm 37, verse 23, Psalm 37, verse 23. Now, most all these are the New Living or the New King James Version. New Living Translation, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Psalm 37, 31, Psalm 37, 31. The law of God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. It's talking about the king. How's he doing good? Well, the law of God's in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Psalm 40, verse 2. Psalm 40, verse 2. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock, and he established my steps. Who did? God set my feet on a rock, and he established my steps. Every day you get up, you got challenges. Uh, tests and trials of life come to everybody. Tests and trials of life come to everybody. So what is it? God, I need you to order my steps, direct my paths, God, and altar, show me things to come. And he promised he would. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of a stranger, I will not follow. So he will establish myself. Psalm 44, verse 18. Psalm 44, verse 18. New King James Version. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. And the psalmist is telling him, listen, my steps have not departed from your way, God. I might have fallen down, but I got back up. The Bible says the righteous fall seven times a day, but they get back up. What are you doing? Getting back up. Psalm 19, Psalm 119, verse 133. Psalm 119, verse 133. New King James Version. Direct my steps by your word. Direct my steps by your word. What? The Bible. Got to read your Bible. Every day, read about at least five minutes. Get your book open, read a psalm, read a proverb. Direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. He's praying a prayer to God. God, don't let sin take care of me. Don't let it rule over me and dominate me. Direct my steps by your word. Ooh, that's so good. Psalm 140, verse 4. Psalm 140, verse 4. New King James Version. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purpose to make my steps stumble. What does it say? Well, there's violent men, wicked men, whose purpose is to make your steps stumble. You got enemies out there. You didn't have to pray for them. You didn't have to ask for them. You didn't do anything wrong. The devil said, Jesus never sinned one time, but every time he went somewhere, they tried to throw him off a cliff, stone him to death. Same thing the apostle Paul that wrote two-thirds New Testament, praying the Holy Ghost all the time. He was constantly being arrested, imprisoned, beaten. And like, what did he do? Nothing. What is this? The word of God. The devil hates the word of God because the power it's power over him. So it says, they purpose to make my steps stumble. There's people out there who want you to fall. But what about so the righteous fall seven times? Let me get back up. I might fall, but I'm going to get right back up. You can't stop me from doing what God's called me to do. Proverbs 4, verse 12. Proverbs 4, verse 12. New King James. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. When you walk, your steps will not be. It's a promise from God. Your steps will not be. Whatever you're doing today, God said, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. I like that. I like that. Proverbs 14, verse 15. Proverbs 14, verse 15. New King James. The simple believe every word. The simple, they believe every word here. But the prudent considers well his steps. You ever have people just believe everything they heard? Oh, really? You heard you whisper somebody, hey, so-and-so, and they believe it. 
They just take everything and they don't check it out. They don't, they don't research it. Don't believe everything you hear because the devil's lying all the time. The devil lies to people, politicians, friends, neighbors. Got to know the truth. Truth will set you free. Proverbs 16, verse 9. Proverbs 16, verse 9. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. God's going to direct my steps. Well, that's good. I like God to direct my steps. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. But to this you were called, because Christ also suffered us, living us an example that you should follow his steps. Whose steps? Jesus. I need to follow the steps of Jesus. So the things I do, you do also. Have mercy. I like that. I'm going to do the same things Jesus did. Why? Well, he said I could, and then I would. So steps, it's a great word to meditate on. And there's hundreds of scriptures. You can look up and get your own scripture. I used to tell my kids, get two or three scriptures. The Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses of things established. So find something to believe God and just run with it. It's a good thing to do. God bless, guys. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to hear more of what God can do in your life. It's got a great future for you and your family. And we're here to help you get there. Please make sure you visit Joe McGee Ministries on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. There you find all of our Friday funny videos and other encouraging resources for you and your family. While you're at it, be sure to visit JoeMcGee.com. We have all sorts of materials, books, DVDs, you name it, all there to help you, your marriage, and your family succeed.